speaking kind of speaking of the Harbaugh's, What's now I him? did have something on the docket here earlier saying Eric Weddle still out there, but this in fact is no longer true because he will be playing for one of the Harbaugh's in Baltimore. Now, Eric Weddle's a safety out of San Diego. He's a multiple pro bowler, all pro. Um, he really has been outspoken about how he wants to compete for a ring. I don't really know if that's Baltimore, but either way, he was pretty... Uh, him and he had a good career in San Diego, but I think uh, what basically happened was something with his daughter. His daughter was doing the halftime show at one of his games, and I guess uh, it's a rule that like all the players got to go in the uh, in the locker room for halftime. So everybody gets in there, and it's like, oh, where's Eric? Hey, where's Weddle? You seen Weddle? And nobody knew where he was. He was out on the field watching his daughter. So the team didn't really like this, and they find him. I forget what they find him, but they find him, and it was like this big thing. And also, um, before this happened in the preseason, he was sitting out on a contract, wanted a new deal. They wouldn't give it to him. So it's pretty much known that he wasn't going to be around. And he is, outside of Eric Berry, who got franchised, he is the top safety. So he's going to be over there in um, Baltimore. But what do you think about him getting suspended for Jess? What do you think about him getting suspended because he didn't go in the locker room at halftime, but he watched his daughter's. His daughter was performing the halftime show. I think that's a little ridiculous. I, I think I think they should have they shouldn't have sus suspended. Him. Hey, he got fined. He didn't get suspended. Uh -oh. He got fined. Get get fined for it. Yeah. Well, yeah, still. I mean, he should have like know. I don't know. Maybe he, he should have got like, reprimanded. Clear. Like just like by by like uh, getting told not to do it again, but not not fined. He's got 19 interceptions on his career. It'll be his first time not in a Chargers jersey. Well, you know, that's what happens. But you know what? What, four years now in Baltimore? Good for him. You know, he's got a... Yeah, uh, four years, 26 million, 13 guaranteed, 9 million for year one. That's a pretty Jeez. nice uh, year one. That's a nice year I one. I mean, that sounds like, that basically sounds like like he can pretty much retire and yeah. get most of the money, or they can cut him, because he is a bit older. That's the only thing with him. He's never really had any injuries, though, but I think he's 31. Now, with that, we're going to go from, I guess, San Diego. We're going to take a little trip over to Cleveland. Talk about Johnny a Manziel. A little trip, man. That's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? That's a long trip. Well, everybody knows, you know, Johnny Football got uh, cut, released, whatever, by the Browns. Uh, just all his off-the-field drama, his lackluster performance on the field, his I-don't-give-a-crap attitude, not showing up, all that jazz. Well, he party just... Party boy. Yeah, party boy. He just... Uh, he just cleared waivers, so he is now officially a free agent. He can sign with anyone he'd like, which would probably be the first team that gives him a deal because I don't think that phone's going to be ringing off the hook. No, somebody will put him on the pine. Yeah, exactly, but I'm just he's not going to be like a, a sought after commodity. He's like kind of like a liability, like he Yeah, was, definitely. He's so, a little you know, but like he, he kind of little nervous signing him, you know. Well, yeah, because he's he hasn't the matured. Playboy. He doesn't. He doesn't. He hasn't matured. And I mean, the latest allegations are. <laughs> and yeah, you can't be beating up yeah. women. No, <laughs> yeah, that's no, you can't. But you know, <laughs> some players that uh, committed domestic <laughs> abuse are playing football. Oh yeah, yeah. then for there real. are yeah. others that committed domestic abuse and are not playing football. Ray Rice. So, you are falling into two categories. <laughs> You're yeah. either playing football or you not playing yeah. football. And judging by his performance, because everybody knows, like, Greg Hardy, his situation sounded the worst, at least, like, by far. And he was the one who kept playing because he was the best football player. And somebody like Ray Rice, who was a little past their prime and was actually seemed to be remorseful, is not playing in the league. Uh, what you got over there? Uh, you got there? Not to like go way too back in time, but like, what was your thoughts about AP getting his suspension for switching his child? Well, I mean, because that's like pretty old, but we could talk about it for a minute. Yeah, I know, like you know, because we're talking about domestic abuse. I guess and, yeah, John and, you know, and then, yeah. you know, so like you know, I'm just trying to get I catch the uh, vibe here. He should have 
they yeah that was the right thing what for him to get a suspension, suspension. and to get arrested so you think it was arrested. wrong so you were yes. you were against yeah thinking. i think that's wrong yeah because i oh man i got some I got Didn't switches. Like, beat the I got crap out of that. What are you from, though? Texas? I, said, I just wanted to say <laughs> it because it sounded cool. Hey, man, yard? yo. Uh, they made you go pick your yo, own switch um, out what, in the yard. I have family from the south. All right. <laughs> oh, that's why you're a Panthers fan. That's right. See, I don't know. I don't know. I don't realize you're from the south. Yeah, well, you're not from yeah, the south. I got, yeah, yeah, like my my yeah, can't fall from down South Carolina. Yeah, they'll make you go in the backyard and pick your own to get whipped with. And then if it breaks, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, you you get it harder. All right. Well, in Johnny Manziel's two New seasons age. with Cleveland, he's only played uh, 14 games. He's only had 258 attempted passes, 147 completions. Uh, he's got seven touchdowns to seven interceptions, one rushing touchdown. I mean, this isn't really anything to brag with. He was kind of like an ad lib, um, improv improvising. He uh, cared more about the, the the. Who are you talking about? Manziel. Yeah. yeah Johnny he, football. Yeah, he cared more about the party, the the party in life of the football that with the what comes with football than the. Yeah. He, the, I don't think he really had notoriety. his heart in the playing football. Well, he's a little rich boy. It's not like he needs the yeah. money. He yeah exactly. He didn't like have it real hard or anything, and then get you know get become this football player like he's just i'm not talking bad about him or anything but like you can talk bad about johnny manzo it's okay <laughs> yeah, i think he, his heart's him. not in it like i don't think his heart's in, in playing football I, mean, I think he does it for the bitches and and, <laughs> and for for you know like the free shit you know what i mean like that's that's my honest opinion i don't know yeah you know but uh he uh he got he got wrapped up in the game even in college. Yeah, he did. He was always so, in trouble. You know, the fact is is that, you know, when you're in college, you know, you want to cut loose a little bit. That's expected. Yeah. You yeah. Know. In college. But, but you got to grow up. Not as a quarterback. Get... Now you've graduated college in a sense. You move on to your professional career and you haven't done a thing. And you're still so fucking he's, up. So he, he's like the... Um, quintessential like workaholics character but football edition <laughs> <laughs> all right but um with that i mean let's move on a little bit here johnny manzel oh, who cares rich playboy oh nobody i don't he doesn't need anything but uh let's move on to another upcoming prospect another quarterback who seems to be getting in some trouble we got dak prescott I mean, what's going on with him? Do you hear anything about this? This DUI or the suspicion of DUI? Like, dude. well, I don't know if you get suspicion. Well, you got pulled over, right? For, well, it says this? here. I got the article pulled up on CBS yeah, Sports in front of me. Uh, former former Mississippi State quarterback Dak Prescott was arrested on suspicion driving under the influence early Sunday morning. I have a statement. So he was definitely arrested. And, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe they didn't give him a... Why would they not give him a breath? Well, yeah, I was about to say, what does he process? Because you can't, like... Well, no, know. they said he was arrested, so... He was I mean, arrested, so then, yeah, then, yeah. Then I, have his, uh, I have his statement here. Now, mind you, I mean, he's a former Mississippi State quarterback. I mean, he's not, like, the top guy. There's not really too many quarterbacks this year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He does have some good numbers, Sounds like though. another Kerry Collins situation. I mean, his, uh, his 2015 stats were 316 completions on 477 um, attempts. He's got 3,793 yards this past year with a 66.2 completion rating, 29 touchdowns to five interceptions. That's that's pretty. I'm okay with that. Yeah, so that's a good ratio. But um, I got his statement here. Um, I guess he put this out to Rappaport and uh, had Rappaport put it out. His direct quote is, "I want to make a statement and first take complete." Responsibility responsibility for my actions. I'm very remorseful for my misjudgment. I want to apologize to my true supporters, my family, Mississippi State University, the NFL, and the kids who look up to me. I won't ask for forgiveness. However, I'll show the true man I am by exhibiting my career through my actions and behaviors moving forward. So he's saying, I'm sorry, everybody. I messed up. Don't hate me. Is this going to affect his draft stock? He's kind of far back there already. I don't, I got to be honest, I don't think it's going to affect his draft stock, especially being a quarterback. He wasn't that highly sought after anyway. I don't think yeah. it's going to hurt him that much. You know, it's yeah, not like he was a first round pick. Yeah, but uh, not to 
no, switching gears just a little bit, but uh, kind of going back to what uh, we were talking about over the last few podcasts. Um, I was reading an article and I had to get a chuckle. All right. Chris Wessling of uh, Around the NFL wrote a article about five franchises on the rise. And guess who one of those teams was? What, the team that just lost the Super Bowl? Wow, that's surprising. No, 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 no. Oh, no? No, 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 no. no, no. No, same, no, same colors minus the blue. Oh, the Raiders. The Oakland yeah. Raiders. Well, so he's, now he's right about that. Yeah, I think. So I want to. So I want to shout out to that to him for finally jumping on the bandwagon, and maybe now, maybe one other person will join me in the club of the Panthers Raiders Super Bowl. Because think about how awesome it's going to be <laughs> <laughs> when I'm right. Okay, I, I, that would be awesome for me. I really don't care about either one of those two teams. I know. <laughs> You're gonna, yeah, you're, that's that's gonna be the Super Bowl lost for you. But I mean, I would, in, if that was a Super Bowl, I'd, I'd be rooting for the Raiders. I like Derek Carr, Amari Cooper. Um, who else they got over there now? What they got? Um, who's on that defense? Who they pick up on the defensive line? Oh, uh, they got uh, they, Khalil Mack. Yep. Well, Khalil they had Mack, they yeah. had Khalil Mack. Yeah. That's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah so really yeah, <laughs> they, they they're doing a lot of things over there, and uh, I'm glad that they are because it just makes my prediction look a little bit more realistic. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, dude. I think you're pushing it a little bit there. I'm pushing it, I don't but think, you know what? I don't Professional think writers at back. the NFL are, you know, jumping on board with my thought. Oh, they're definitely an up-and-coming team. I mean, they got a quarterback. They got a young wide receiver who seems to be top-notch. But he, he drops. He has some drops, though. Amari Cooper has some drops. Yeah, you know, he, he, he'll get over that. You know, he was a rookie going right in and getting work done, just like Calvin Benjamin did, you know, a year prior. <laughs> All right. Well, just like your boy did year prior. <laughs> now, my boy, being Odell Beckham Jr., he blew up. He blew towards up the end of the season. Blew up towards the end because he was <laughs> injured. He didn't even have yeah. a full year, and he was breaking records. I know, I know. That's yep. why I was like, Kelvin. And I mean, did that was all year, and then this that dude was just a great year. He just shows up, and now he gets the rookie of the year for Man. wide receivers. I mean, that's where Mar- that was Martavius Bryant's class. Ooh. That's Mike Evans' class. Sammy Boom. Watkins. You know what I mean? Like, that'll be a nice class. What's going on with Watkins? What's going on with Buffalo? Like, I mean. Sammy Watkins is nasty, dude. But I when, love he's got to stay on the field. He's got to make some plays. He ain't done squat in the NFL, man. What? He makes big plays. Like, I Sammy have Watkins fantasy. is not living up to the hype he was drafted but now, with. But now he's got Tyrod Taylor, you know, uh, you know coming up. I think I think he's gonna be all right. I think he'll be. Uh, right. I don't know, man. Tyrod Taylor. Are they even like? Is Buffalo married to Tyrod Taylor? I don't. I don't think so. You know. All right. How's everybody doing out there today? Thanks for tuning in to this special edition Voice of Bedlam podcast. If you want to take that next jump with your business or company, you need to come over and advertise on the Voice of Bedlam podcast. Get your ad heard by thousands on a reoccurring basis. Just click buy now and send us your info. Thanks a lot, guys. 